Hey guys, Scanner Danner here with my son Caleb behind the camera as usual and we are headed to Rosedale Technical College this morning for a big announcement with the school. What we know so far is there's a partnership coming with Number One Cochrane and this is a local dealership in our area. This is actually where my friend Tommy Wolf of Positive Lead Diagnostics who does some case studies for us for SD Premium um, he works for number one Cochrane Volkswagen and um, he is the best tech in this entire area. Like all the stores send their problem cars to my friend Tommy Wolf uh, with the Volkswagen dealership. But that's the company that Rosedale is going to be partnering with. It has to do with a program where the students are going to be coming to school and going to um, work part-time at this particular dealership. It's going to provide them with actual hands-on training uh, combined with, you know, at the garage, combined with training, foundational training that we focus on at Rosedale Technical College. So let's go check out this announcement and see what else they're talking about. I'm really excited for this one. So how does this work, your relationship with Rob here today? What is this? Oh, okay. I've read so about it, but it's... Basically, you know, the Cat School of Business at Pitt? Yeah. You've got the number one Cochrane School of Automotive at Rose. Basically, that's kind of what it okay. is. It's a sponsorship where they're, uh, we're branding our automotive and collision repair programs as the number one Cochrane Technological Center of Excellence. Technological Excellence okay. Center. Um, so so it, it helps both center. sides? Yeah, exactly. So they're, they're looking to hire right. 40 technicians a year or something like that. And what better way? It's almost like a minor league system. You can groom them your way. Exactly. Right? A lot of scholarship money yeah. directed towards like low income and, and women and things like that. Um, Good. So That's awesome. Yeah, really nice college. Oh, good. I, Natural I, fit. They're number one in automotive. We're the college in Western PA with the no number one number of automotive graduates. So we're the largest yeah. automotive college. What took so long? You guys so, should have gone. Did this happen yeah, on the golf yeah, course? Like, it was this I feel like we're severely underdressed. Holy sh I didn't, I didn't know. I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know this was like a whole event. I didn't <laughs> either. <laughs> look at me, wait, look at me with my, <laughs> look at me with my shirt on. I was, I didn't know either. I'm like, I'm like starstruck. Who was <laughs> Bob Pompiani. He's like the sports guy on KDK. He does all the Steelers preseason games. Yeah, I wouldn't know. Bob that. Pompiani. <laughs> it's Bob Pompiani. This is Kara. She's my, been my boss for like ever. Yeah. Uh, amazing, amazing job she does here at Rosedale Tech. Relates to the students, relates to the instructors, uh, relates to the staff. That's not an easy combination. <laughs> no. But she's been able to manage that. So, will this be? Just the auto program, or is this collision. auto and collision? Auto and collision. So Cochran, I, and I don't have the stats on it, so I'd be like misspeaking, but they are also expanding. So it's been a lot of news that they're buying other dealerships, other family-owned dealerships. Oh, okay. They're also doing the same on the collision side. Okay. Um, and then they just broke ground on, I think, an 80,000 square foot facility that yeah. will also do heavier duty. Oh, sweet. Out um, near the airport, I think. It's so this will be include our diesel program too, then. Eventually, Eventually for okay. Yeah. And so, but what's they do like duty diesel now? What's it going to look like for the student? Is it still going to be a 16-month training program? And so then the the shop um, service manager, service writer is going to kind of grade that student while he's in. Is that part of it? You know, no, like so they have to meet their criteria of being a good student here. Mm. And then whenever it comes to shop time, you know, we, we can what we do here okay. in a more one-on-one -on -one setting. Okay. And we don't have school Fridays now. Okay. So students go work all so, day Friday. So will there be any students that are here that wouldn't qualify for that? So you really have to have your grades up to get into this shop. They're not just going to take so you every could, student. You can start part-time whenever, but it would be after school Friday. Okay. And then as we get closer to like our Gen Ed 2 classes, once students are doing their work, we don't hold them captive. So can I say then that if someone signs up for Rosedale, that uh, for the auto or collision program, they will have the opportunity to get into Cochrane. May have. We never guarantee anything. May have. May have. Okay, that's what that, and that's where my question was. Well, what would the may be 
where they're not going to be there. Uh, they don't show up. Their grades aren't here. You know, okay. we're not going to put a student like that who's here one day a week into that shop, right? They still have to do something. Well, they can they can go there and they might have to to, to prove it, right? Because we do have some people that have like life circumstances, right? Sure. Yeah. We know what's going on. Yeah. They can they can go to work on Fridays and yeah. they can show, and then that's when Cochran and us will communicate. So you know, hey, Paul's a great guy going through some, some stuff. Yeah. Um, but I think that's what differentiates us because we know our students, we know their story. That's awesome. I, I, this is such a good idea. It's going to be huge for the school. I'm really, really happy to see it. it, it it's awesome. So thanks for talking with us. I, I'm, I'm excited to see what this is going to look like. We're excited for this announcement and we're just glad to be here still. So, Caleb, get a shot of that car real quick. Yeah, so it looks like the car from Back to the Future. So what, what can I say from the movie as I'm standing next to the car? It's specialized weather equipment. <laughs> what you got under here? Don't, don't touch that. Some new specialized weather sensing equipment. You uh, got a permit for that? Of course I do. <laughs> what you got under there? Oh, it's just some specialized weather equipment. You got a permit for that? <laughs> of course I do. <laughs> it's good to see everyone here today on what is a momentous occasion. My name is Bob Pompier from KDKA, and I've had a long relationship with the Cochrane business, Rob Cochrane and his family, and the great people of Number One Cochrane. It all started by him beating me on a golf course so badly that I had to do whatever he asked for the rest of my life, and that's pretty much what I've done. But Rob uh, is one of those guys who I admire because he is a guy who is from here, invested in here, and very much committed to Western Pennsylvania, as is the people at Rosedale Tech, because Dennis is another guy who's from here, invested in here. There's a lot in common, and this relationship today is going to be something that's going to benefit so many people uh, who are getting into the automotive trade, who want to make a career out of it, and what a great way to learn uh, with a cross-promotion that will come from both number one uh, businesses, the Cochrane business, the Rosedale business. So that's why we're here today. Uh, I. When I first came in here, I met Scanner Danner, who I didn't know much about. I knew, I heard that name before. I had no idea what the background was, but uh, Scanner Danner, Paul Danner is a guy who went here, graduated from here, and now started to teach here. And in an effort to try to get his message out to potential students, he opened up a YouTube page just because he felt it'd be good to do it. If you can't make it, thing has grown into a tremendous YouTube opportunity. So now he's his teachings, his classroom work is on YouTube, and it's in over 100 countries. So by virtue of that, the Rosedale message has gone out there. But this Rosedale Tech and Dennis Rokey, this is a family business, not unlike what Rob has done. Both of these guys have taken over businesses from their father, uh, from the family, and this is interesting to me, Dennis and for me, since I deal in sports, sports analogies, I really like them. Like the Pittsburgh Steelers, who've had three head coaches in 50-some years, there have only been three presidents of Rosedale Tech. Three in the last 50 years. And before we bring up both Dennis and Rob, I want to begin by bringing up a guy who had a role to play in them getting together, uh, because he, too, is invested in this area from Kennedy Township, and he is currently the Allegheny County Treasurer and looking to be the Allegheny County Chief Executive. And I know him well, and I certainly would endorse that. Please welcome John Weinstein. Both of these two gentlemen are, are my friends. And uh, let me tell you the story as to exactly how this happened. So Rob calls me one day and he says, John, I have an idea. He said, and maybe you can help me or you can, you can point me in the right direction. He said, I'm having trouble getting auto mechanics and auto body uh, technicians. He said, I'd like to own my own, open my own school. And I thought for a minute, I'm thinking, you really don't know anything about running a school. I said, but I do know someone that does. I said, my good friend Dennis Wilkie runs Rosedale Tech. I said, how about if we have lunch? He goes, oh, that's a great idea. So this was about a year ago. And honestly, I'm so proud to stand here today because that meeting is what facilitated what's happening here today in a partnership between Rosedale Tech and Number One Copper. This is what Pittsburgh's all about. This is what our region's about. Both of these gentlemen have commitments to our region about growing their businesses here, growing the economy, 
helping people learn new technology, new jobs for all of what they're trying to do. The people that are going to graduate from this, this academy will be employees and underwritten by Cochrane. Think about that. The scholarship opportunities that you give people to become auto mechanics or auto body technicians. And it helps Dennis's business to continue to grow. This business is fantastic. And I'm, this is in Kennedy Township. I've lived here my whole life. And I'm proud to be here. Thank you. God bless you. And I appreciate it very much. This is, this is what Pittsburgh is all about. Thank you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the president of Rosedale Tech, Mr. Dennis Wilkie. I'm um, coming in to just a few things about what this means for our students in the region and, and for our organizations. Um, so this shared vision, what we created out of this partnership, this number one Cochrane Technological um, Excellence Center, the Tech X Center, is a soup to nuts way to transform and energize and elevate the trades for Western Pennsylvania to change lives tremendously and change lots and lots of people's lives. We've got scholarships for people coming into the trades and we're talking about $100,000 a year and then a commitment to keep this going on basically in perpetuity with scholarship money. We're, we're recruiting high schools together, so number one Cochrane uh, HR and technical folks going with the Rosedale Tech recruiters to visit high school, showing that commitment, that shared partnership. When they're in school, there's opportunities to work while you're in school, almost like an apprentice style learning opportunities. So, and that the, the apprentice uh, work increases as you get closer to graduation. So, it's a great partnership. Along the way, there's lunch money for the students, clothing. When they get close to graduation, they apply for employment with Number One Cochrane. If they're when they're accepted for employment, they've got access to uh, free tools and reimbursement for student loans if they have any, and great benefits. So it's really it's a soup and us partnership, and it, it is all about a shared vision together. Uh, we expect also, uh, being a nonprofit college that we are, we expect this gigantic, huge partnership to develop and be a template for additional partnerships for some of our other trades as well. So we're excited to see how this. You know, this pilot program really transforms our school and the region in so many lives. Um, all right, I think that's all I wanted to talk about now. So I'm gonna turn it back over to Bob. Thank you for coming. So let's hear from the president now, number one Cochrane, Mr. Rob Cochran. So number one Cochran is a 57, almost 58 year old company. Um, started by my father, so uh, Dennis, we have you beat by one generation, 58 years, uh, two presidents. Uh, but the, uh, you know, 58 years ago, we started in North Braddock, uh, and you know, John spoke about Pittsburgh and Western Pennsylvania, and I, I like to think that we are a good story for Western Pennsylvania as, you know, as at that time, one of maybe 50 Pontiac dealerships in, 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 in the region, in the Pittsburgh area, there are a whole bunch of them then. And just my father and a group of people that were really committed to, to making a difference and to um, you know, finding a way to persevere through challenges and all the things that small businesses do uh, and learning how to c connect with community. We're proud of the, the, the amount of support that we've given uh, to grassroots organizations over these 57 years. Uh, it's always been one of the staples as far as who we are as a company. And the first thing that came to mind, um, because of the industry, right? The first thing that came to mind were skilled trades, the technical trades, what we could do, uh, because it is, it is an issue with the industry. It's a way for us to give back to the industry uh, it's certainly an issue with the region as we are able to provide, uh, you know, more young people with a, with a, with a, with an avenue toward really good, high-paying jobs and, and a stability and in an, an evolving in an evolving industry. Uh, so that, it all made sense to us. We just didn't know how to go about doing it. John took uh, took, took Dennis and I and Aaron Herbick up to Scolios. Dennis and I just started speaking, and, and, and there really was this, this consistency, right? This consistency of how can we think big, how can we think differently, the, the cultures that we're trying to create within the organizations. Uh, and as, as our teams got to know each other over the, over the, you know, the months following, it, was, it became more and more apparent that this marriage 
to be consummated on Valentine's Day uh, it was really something that it was really something that could, that could do a lot of good for this region. So uh, we couldn't be more proud. We couldn't be more proud as we as we think about what this can do going forward. Uh, the thing that I'm most proud of is the is the scholarship support uh, with the with the majority of that scholarship support going to going to uh, kids and young young people coming out of, of areas of need. And what can we do? What can we do to help people? Um, whether it's figuring out how to get them transportation, so we, we've studied that, we, we've, we've pondered that, uh, because again, that is one of the things that, that, as an organization, that we strive to be. It's how, how can how can we be a conduit for people uh, to be to be able to realize the success that, that that every person should be able to realize. So, with that, I think I've spoken enough. Um, I'm proud of this. Uh, this is a big this is a big day for our family. This is a big day for Number One Cochran. Uh, and we're looking forward to a really a long-term relationship with Number One Cochrane Tech X and, and Rosedale and, and Dennis Wilkie and all of the fine people on this faculty. So thank you so much. Yes, we have a special unveiling now. So you see behind this group of people here, you know what it is. You got to recruit, you got to show people this is where you need to go next. Young people everywhere. So this is going to be taken all around Western Pennsylvania. A trailblazer for two guys who have been trailblazers in their respective businesses. This is how you get people interested. And with all the significant people here get together for a picture around that brand new trailblazer. Beautiful. And you'll see it around the streets and the highways of Western Pennsylvania. Hey, can I steal you for one second? Sure. My name's Paul Danner. Nice to meet you. Paul, nice to see you. Uh, I, you have a technician at your shop, uh, and a Volkswagen technician. His name's Tommy Wolf. To change you, I used to be. Okay. I just want to brag about him for a second. He was a former student of mine here. Uh, he's like my best friend still. He, like We've been together for 14 years. And uh, I just wanted to brag about Tommy. He is the drivability guy for your Volkswagen dealerships. Great. They bring them all the problem cars. That's great. He is a Rosedale student. I'm just proud of him. I wanted you to. You I wanted you to hear his name. Now you remember my, what's your name again? Paul Danner. I'm the Paul. Scanner Danner guy. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. I, I appreciate that. I appreciate the kind words. And hopefully, there's there's many more of those that can be produced here over the years. I mean, I, I can't see why there can't be. And I think the relationship that you guys are doing, where you have the guys in the in the shop and then coming back here is absolutely phenomenal. I think it's a great idea and I'm, 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 I'm happy to see the, the uh, relationship. I've been here for 20 years as an instructor, so you know I'm just happy to see it. So Good. thanks so much. Thank you. Remember that name, Tommy Wolf. He's I worth every dime you pay him. I appreciate it, thank you. <laughs> okay, you owe me, Tommy, your next paycheck. <laughs>